Give me Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 14. Jeremiah 30 and 14. We got to come up out of all these false religions. Like you got the cross on your neck. That's an idol, bro. God said, you might not know, but I'm going I'm to I'm put you on right now. God said, all those are idols. All that is evil. What's the second commandment? Don't make a graven image to bow down to it. Now, you might not take that chain and bow down to it, but is there people that do? Yeah, there is. It's called Catholicism. So you might wear it for whatever. Oh, it keep me safe. It, it keep me. My grandmama gave it to me. Uh, my, 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 my niece, she passed away. She gave it to me. All those things. We have some, 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 some reason, but I'm telling you, God hates that. Right. He's not okay with that. Watch this. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 14. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. Verse 15. Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable. So God say, why cry? Why cry in the street? When your, when your loved one, when your family died, we say, Jesus, why? Lord, why? Why cry? He told you from the beginning what's going to befall you and your people if you walk away from his commandments. He told you. So we say, why cry? Come on. Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity. He say, yes, the sorrow, what you cry about is going to keep happening. Why? Because of your iniquity. You know what iniquity is? Sin. Your iniquity is sin. Sin is another word for iniquity. It's going to continue. It's going to get worse in these streets. Now we're seeing white men coming into our street, in our churches and shooting up everybody. Bring and then he gets to go to jail and live out the rest of his days as a hero. It's getting worse. God said that would happen. But we've never been taught the truth out of this book. We've always been lied to. Come on. Because thy sins were increased. Because thy sins were increased. Once upon a time, Nat Turner fought against that cross. Once upon a time, our brothers on the islands of Hispaniola, as the conquistadors, the white man came to conquer them, they fought against that. They said, kill me, rather than I will ever worship a cross. Hey. Ever. Kill me. Take my life. Now we put it on our neck. Our iniquities have increased. Once upon a time, we fought that. Our forefathers fought that. Hold that. You're going to come right back. Go to Deuteronomy 28, 64. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Once upon a time, we understood that was a curse. That was a plague. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 64. Now remember, the book of Deuteronomy 28 is what? The curses that our people will fall to. The curses, right? So we're going to read another curse. First we read about we're going back into slavery on ships, right? I'm going to just go down a few verses, four verses, to verse 64. Watch what it says. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So how will we scatter? Huh? So how was we scattered? Once upon a time we was in Jerusalem. How was we scattered? Ships. Ships, you got it. So we were scattered. That happened, right? So he said, you gonna be scattered, come on. From the one end of the earth. From one end, from the eastern hemisphere, because Egypt and Jerusalem is where? East. That's the eastern hemisphere, right? Come on. Even unto the other. We on the up whole other side of the earth now, the western hemisphere. That's why they call this what? The West. Watch this. Come on. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And there when you get off them slave ships, you're going to serve other gods. Come on. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. That's not once upon a time your fathers fought that. Once upon a time your fathers would rather be killed than to put that on their neck or have it brought, uh, presented to them. But what happened now? Because Nat Turner, he was a fighter. He wasn't far from here, right? He was an hour up the road. That's where Nat Turner, his, his chronicles were. That was a valuable, that's, a he, that's our hero, right? Is he a hero? Yeah, that's our hero. Malcolm X, that's a hero of ours, right? Even Martin Luther King, right before he passed away, he said, I fear that I've assembled my people into a burning house. What was that burning house? Christianity! Right. That's right. Christianity, that teaches our people nothing but to accept oppression. Right. Accept the domination of them from another people. That's white supremacy. That's why it ain't no dead man that you worshiping on that cross. Who is it? What, no, what, what, what's his race? What's the race of that man on your neck? Huh? You say God? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm gonna show you God. You think God a white man? With, with straight blonde hair? 
blue eyes. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 10 and verse 5. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked and beheld a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. Jump down to verse 6. His body also was like the bow, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as a lamp of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. Now who is that talking about? Huh? That's Jesus the Christ. Oh. We're going to get to God. Okay. That's Jesus the Christ. Uh, now who is Jesus' so. father? Uh, you just said it. Who is his father? God, the most high. Yeah. Right? Watch this. And the voice like the words of a multitude. And I, Daniel, alone. Now go to chapter 7. So that was Christ. You know that one, right? Now go to chapter 7. What you're reading, what we're reading about is who you think you're worshiping on your neck. So we're going to cover, we cover Christ. Right? Watch this. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. Now who's the Ancient of Days? No. That's Jesus too, but here it's referencing the Most High God. Ancient of Days being he existed before there was a measurement of time called That's a day. Right. Right. A day means a measurement of 24 hours. That's what a day means. It's a measurement of time, like you have an hour, you have a minute, a second. They're measurements of time. This entity existed before time existed. Watch this. That's why he's called the Ancient of Days. He was before. He was ancient before the days. Come on. Whose garment was white as snow. Whose garment was white as snow, just like we just read that. Right. Who was we reading about before? Oh, was reading about Jesus. I got you, I got you. He was reading about Jesus, his baby boy, his son, right. his little man, his image. Watch this. And the hair of his head. And the hair of his head. Like the pure wool. Uh oh. Uh oh. Show me who you pointed at again one more time. Right here. Hey, Rich. Hey, hey, Rich, let me look. My man said this Jesus right here. Come look. My man, show, point at him again. Look at his hair. Is that pure wool right there? Yeah, it's right. No, it's that pure wool. It said, read it again. And the hair of his head. And the hair of his head, like the pure wool. They say the hair of his head, like the pure wool. Is that pure wool is my question. No, it is pure wool. Which one? No. You know what a sheep hair look like? Wool come from a sheep. Yeah, I know what it looks like. Right, so show me where would you Which one again? Let me help you out, because we got to go. Let me help you out. Okay, I Does this look like sheep's wool? Yeah. You sure? Do this look like sheep wool or this look like sheep wool? That looks like sheep wool. That's like what right. came out your head when you was a little boy. Look like sheep wool. What's on his head? What's on his head? What's on his head? What's on his head? What's on all these? Look at his brother right here. That's the pure wool. That's right. That's a black man. Watch this. Come on. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. It's talking about his, uh, his, the throne that he sat on. Come on. A fiery stream issued and came from. That's it. Huh? Okay. That's that's it right there. So Christ and his father were black men. I'm gonna show you something else. Job 30 and 30. I'm gonna show you, brother. You worshiping white supremacy. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you because you gotta know. And I want you to show your babies. Listen. We the chosen people. God look like us. Right. Imagine what that'd do to our people, our little babies' minds, right? If they understood God, the creator of all things, look like good. us. We worship in a race that put us in captivity. You know how how much how broken we are from that? We broken from that. Now we wear it around our neck. Once we fought that. Like, no, don't do that to that was evil. That was murder. That happened to us to accept that. Genocide. It's what was attempted on our race. If it had not been for God and his mercy and the promise he made with our forefathers, we would be erased. That that never be on our neck. Come on. This is the book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. Bring it out. My skin is black upon me. Whoa. Well, the Bible say Job is a black man. 
What do you know? Just like Jesus and his father. So what color is his people? Again, my skin is black upon me. Joe, the people of God are black people. So not only do the curses fit our people, we going into slavery on slave ships as the Israelites for breaking God's commandments. What do you know? All the prophets are black. That's right. All the, get Jeremiah. Get Jeremiah now, 421 or 821. 821. 821. Get Jeremiah now. That's fine. What color was Jeremiah? Maybe I'm capping out here. Maybe I'm lying out here. All the, this whole book is black men and women. That's right. The whole book. That's right. We've been lied to. You wearing a lie around your neck right now. That's why you, as old as you are, no offense, my brother. No offense, father. Right? But as old as you are, you thought this was Jesus. And now we read in English. Right. That's we was I was too. And then I had to a brother said, yo, look, you know Christ is black, right? You could be wrong about, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't wear that cross on your neck. Right? So I said, prove it. Prove it. And he proved it with the same book that I've had all my life. All my life. Watch this, read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 21. For the hurt of the daughters of my people, I am hurt. So we supposed to be hurt about that cross. We supposed to be hurt. Yo, we died. My people died for that. My people died for that. We ain't no white man, read. I am black. What? I am black. I'm hurt when I see my brother put a white God on his neck. Who is no God? I'm hurt. I don't, we can't stand for that. And God hates it too. Because he's, imagine if somebody taught you. You've seen your father before? You met your father? What about your mother? They black, right? Now what if I said, no, sir. Your father, white man. Your father, you think you love black people? No, you don't love black people. You love white people as your mama. White people as your daddy. That's what you love. And then you said, no, my, my, no, my mama was black. My father was black. And they beat your ass for that. They murdered you for that. Imagine that. Now you put it on your neck. But I, didn't know I know, I know my brother, but I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving you some food. I'm giving you some food. You feel me? All right, read it again. For the hurt of the daughters of my people, I am hurt. I am black. I am black. Song of Solomon 1 and 5. I am black. The people of God are black. This Bible is black, not white. Not white. Love yourself, black man. The most important and powerful men to ever walk this earth. King David, King Solomon, right. Jesus the Christ, right. are all black men. That's right. All of them. Oh. That ain't my opinion. It's written in the Bible, and it's always been there. This ain't no white man's book. This is our book. This is our heritage. That's right. Read. This is the book of Songs of Solomon. Chapter 1, verse 5. Listen up. Listen good. You're going to love this, black man. If you love yourself, if you love your people, you're going to love this. I am black, but comely. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the, as the tents of Kedar. So he says what? I am black. I am what? I am black. He was black. Solomon was a black man. And guess what? Once upon a time, we loved it. Once upon a time, we, we was black and what? And comely, and comely. I'm black and I'm beautiful. I'm black and I'm beautiful. That's in the Holy Bible. We never knew that. That's why we destroy ourselves. That's why we destroy our communities. That's why we hate each other. Right. That's why. And it all started with what? That thing around your neck. Bring it up. That's where it started. That's how they taught you that your enemy is your friend. That's how they taught you that. God's enemy is your friend. That's where it started with that cross. You feel me? That's the truth of the book. That's the truth of the Bible. Now where was we at? Deuteronomy 7 and 23. Deuteronomy 7 and 23. I'm going to teach you to hate that thing. Bring it up! I feel you like, yo, this thing go that it can cost some money. Go trade it in or something. Burn it, melt it down and, and, and sell it or something like that. Right. You feel me? I, I, I feel you, brother. It costs money. It's gold. I, I, I feel you. But, oh, get rid of it then. What you waiting on? You playing a dangerous game, my friend. Right. Watch this. Come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 23. But the Lord thy God shall de deliver them unto thee 
and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction. So God say he's going to deliver the enemy to us. And through us, he's going to destroy the enemy. Watch this. Until they be destroyed. Come on. And he shall deliver their kings into thine hand. Their kings will be delivered into our hands. Our hands. Watch this. Come on. And thou shalt destroy their name. Thou shalt what? Destroy their name. Guess what their name is? Their images, their religions, their philosophies, their doctrines. That's their name. God said you shall what? Destroy thy name. We got to destroy their name. So when we get an image on our neck, we find out that that's the lies that we've been, that's been murdered into us, raped into us, beaten into us. We got to destroy that. That's a commandment of God. Watch this. There shall no man be able to stand before thee. When we get our minds like that, nobody can destroy us. Nobody will be stronger than us. Nobody can defeat our nation. Nobody. Watch this. Come on. Until thou have destroyed them. The graven images of their God. Hold on. So now it says the graven images of their God. Come on. Shall ye burn with fire? Shall ye what? Burn with fire. Shall ye burn with fire? Burn with fire. Come on. Thou shalt not desire the silver or the gold. The what? The silver or the gold. Is this the Bible speaking to you, my brother? Come on. Thou shalt not desire the silver or the gold that is on them. That's why a lot, you say two miles. A lot can happen in two miles, my brother. Fear God. You just told him that you will get rid of it. You make an oath with God, you what? You better keep it. You better keep it. Yeah, you just made that oath for God. You thought he wasn't listening? Oh, I know that. Okay, you just made that oath for God. You better keep it. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.